with Sizzling Popcorn. Ever wonder how to enable or change your spotter in iRacing? Or how to change the audio effects from an open face helmet to a closed face helmet? You're in the right spot. In this video, we'll take a look at the sound and spotter settings in iRacing. Let's get started. Once you're in a session, it doesn't matter if it's a test, practice, or race session, go to the top right and click on Options. On the bottom right of the screen, you'll see the tab Sound. Click on it. Now we have all the sound settings that we can customize. Stick around until the end as I'll give you a very useful tip for when spotting for a teammate or friend. So starting at the top left under Simulation, you'll want to make sure that the sound is going to your audio device. You may have more than one option. You'll want the X Audio 2 option for that device. Direct sound shouldn't be used as is a deprecated part of Microsoft Direct X library that was used from Windows 95 through Windows XP. It has since been replaced with X Audio 2. Once you have your device selected, you can select whether you want surround sound and or have the sound rotate with your VR headset movement. Next, let's move into the sound levels. This is quite self-explanatory. Uh, you can use the sliders to reduce or increase the main volume or specific types of sound. At the bottom, you can map a, a button to increase or decrease the volume. Now, this next part is a feature iRacing added within the last few seasons, ear protection and helmet effect. From loudest to quietest, you have none, open face helmet, earplugs, closed face helmet, and earmuffs. Now let's take a listen to each one of them. Next is whether you want to add the X Audio 2 Replay Main Compressor with the option of None, Mild, or Heavy. I go with None. Voice Chat. This can be great to meet other drivers or to know when there's a wreck up ahead, but it can be annoying, toxic, and can get you in trouble. Russian, Russian. Car. Entering turn three. Thank you. Traffic, man. Traffic. Really? Me? You turned directly into me. You were slow. I pulled up next to you and you just rammed right into me. You were wrong, but you now you're a Pikachu. <laughs> Campers are flaring here at Road Atlanta. Do be mindful that many drivers stream or post their race videos to the public on YouTube and Twitch. You're responsible for what you say in voice chat. There have been several high profile incidents that had a devastating impact, such as the Kyle Larson case where he lost his NASCAR ride and took a lot to get back to competing in NASCAR. Section 2.3 of the Sporting Code states, iRacing.com provides means for racers to communicate with one another before, during, and after on-track sessions. The high emotions that are a normal part of close racing do not justify verbally abusive or inappropriate expressions towards officials or other racers. Disrespectful communications, including foul or threatening language and insults, will not be tolerated and could lead to suspension 
or the cancellation of the offender's membership. And that is a protestable uh, incident. So you can file a protest if there's uh, there's there's been some uh, verbal abuse or a vulgar language uh, within the voice chat of a session. And it doesn't have to be a race session. It could be a practice session. It could be a hosted session. It doesn't matter what kind of session. With over 1,300 races in uh, six and a half years, this is what I do. If I'm in an oval race, I'll have the voice chat on because it's more of a pack racing and drafting. While in road races, I turn off the chat because after the first few laps, the field starts to spread out. In all cases, I have the text chat turned off, which is found in the options uh, tab. And then under text chat, uh, show chat messages while driving, I have that unchecked. Uh, show system messages while driving, I have that checked so that I see when someone's coming in and out of the server. But then I also get uh, any kind of uh, incidents or penalties. I get those messages. Now we're getting back to the options. You can enable or disable voice chat, radio scripting, having the chat muted, or disabling it only while driving. Make sure your playback and mic are set to the correct device. To be able to talk in chat, you'll need it enabled. Have a mic and map a push to talk button, which you can do right here. You'll also need to press it to transmit the audio. You can also set other buttons to change the volume and channel. And you can also mute that obnoxious driver if you want. Now, don't think that everybody has voice and text chat on. If you don't get a response, move on. It is also possible to just listen to the chat and not say anything. Moving on to the final section, Spotter. iRacing provides you with a spotter to help navigate through traffic. The display option lets you choose voice and text captions on the screen or voice only or text only. You can also decide how chatty your, uh, your spotter is, high, medium, or low. High will give you more information during the race than low. There are several voice packs, including other languages. And you can see here French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, and, and several variations in English. And then down here, you can see that you, you can map buttons to adjust spotter's volume and announcing a leader at the start finish line. You can also have uh, report laps or a pit box countdown and report laps as time or as speed. If you don't like the spotter voice packs included with iRacing, you can do a quick Google search and you'll find former NASCAR driver Jimmy Johnson's spotter pack at the clean and cuss versions. Another option is to disable the iRacing spotter and use Crew Chief, which is a free third-party software that provides you with a spotter and Crew Chief customized with your name and many other features. I'll leave a link in the uh, pinned comment. If you stuck around until now, let's finish with this useful tip for when you're spotting for a teammate or friend. When you have the replay on live, there is still a slight delay from the driver. If you click on spotting at the top of your screen in blue, that will put you in real time. However, it will disable your buddy's in-game spotter. If they have it disabled or use something else, then you're fine. But if you're just back in the car without stopping the spotting, you'll lose your in-game spotter. In addition, when spotting is on, you lose the auto fuel option in your fuel black box. If this video was helpful for you, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them uh, in the comment section below. Now, did you know you could make money while iRacing? Check out this video to find out how. Yeah.